Hello and welcome to our third Mac Journal tutorial. We're glad you're here. Now in our first tutorial we covered how to install and register the software. In our second tutorial we took a tour of the software and learned how to create journals and entries. Now in this tutorial we'll learn how to customize and format journals and entries via the inspector. We'll also learn how to upload what you've created to third-party blogs as well as learn other features of the software. Let's get to it. In our last tutorial we learned how to create journals and entries as well as delete them. Now let's learn how to customize them through the inspector. There are three distinct levels in the inspector. The document, the journal, and the journal entry. In those levels there are common areas that can be customized. The background, template, sorting, encryption, and blog. First, you can customize the background for the entire document, an individual journal, or an individual entry. You can keep the background as is, or you can change the color or add a picture background. Remember that if you choose a graphic or a color that it should enhance the text, not distract from it. The template area allows you to format the text for your document, journal, or entry. You can change the justification, the spacing, the font attributes, as well as other things. Now keep in mind that if you do it on the document level, the formatting will be the same for each journal and entry unless you change it. You can electronically encrypt your journal to ensure privacy. If you want to encrypt your journal, start off on the document level by changing the option in the drop-down menu to When Locked. Now let's go down to the journal level and lock the journal. Once you click the lock, a window appears asking you to create a password and to confirm it. It also gives you the opportunity to give you a hint as to what the password might be. It's important that your password is something that you can easily remember. We can't retrieve passwords, so make sure that you keep your password in a secure place. Once you lock the journal, you'll see that all the entries have become hidden and you'll be prompted for your password if you want to unlock the journal once more. There are additional options for locking your journals and entries in the Preferences section. Finally, let's talk about the blog field. If you want to publish your journal or entry to make it into the blogosphere, of course you're going to need an internet connection and secondly you're going to need a blog account such as TypePad, WordPress, or Blogspot. Let's choose Custom from the pull-down menu. A window will appear prompting you to enter your blog connection information. Now if you're going to post blogs with pictures, music, or video, you'll need to have a place to store them on the net such as Picasa for pictures or another spot such as MobileMe or any other area on the web where you have disk storage. To specify a location, click on the Options button. A window will pop up where you'll need to enter additional information. For more information on configuration, consult your user manual. Let's go through some of the unique fields. First, you can change the name of your journal or the topic of your entry by clicking in the corresponding fields and making the changes. Now, 
Next, you can add tags to your entries to use in Smart Journals, which we'll cover in the fourth and final tutorial. You can notate the status of the entry by using the pull-down list as well as assigning a priority number to the entry. This is to assist you in completing and editing your entries. You can also rate your entry using the star system similar to the systems found in YouTube and iTunes. Now you can also color code your journals and entries with the use of the label pull down menu. You can choose the colors provided or come up with one of your own. It's up to you. Okay, so let's look at a few other things you can add to your entries. For instance, how about adding a video via YouTube? To do this, first find the video on YouTube you wish to embed. Copy the embed address. Now paste it in the next available line. Next, go into your blog server settings, click the options button, and uncheck the escape and greater than or less than checkbox. Now let's test it out. Choose Share. Let's send it to the blog server. Choose OK. Enter your password. And click OK. Now let's go see what it looks like. You can use the media browser for easy insertion of pictures, videos, and links into your entries. To do this, choose Window, Media, choose the type of media you want to add to your blog. For pictures, they need to be located in iPhoto. Now drag it onto your entry. For music, locate the song you wish to embed and drag it into the entry. In the case of movies, just click on the movie that you want to use and drag it into the entry. You can also add links to your entries by clicking on the link button, selecting your link, and dragging it into your entry.
Okay, so that's it for our third Mac Journal tutorial. There's one more to go. For more information, check out your user's guide in the software, or feel free to ask questions on the Mariner site. We're here to help. For now, though, share some good thoughts today.